one other obstacle throughout all this process is quarantine life. And for somebody who's who's been through it, whether COVID enforced or the bio bubble atmosphere and being confined and restricted in terms of a lot of the activities that you can and cannot do, I find to be quite remarkable. And I have a lot of respect for the players who have gone through it because it's not easy just reading about it externally. And I can't imagine what it's like going through it, especially for somebody like you, who people are not aware. You've got a couple of young kids. You've got a young family. Being away for an extended period of time, even when you're theoretically at home in the West Indies, you're not really at home. Being away from St. Kitts and being away from your kids and your family under normal circumstances, I can't imagine is easy on tour and touring life. But then having to be in an enforced restricted zone in what is theoretically supposed to be a home environment, you're you're still not allowed to see your family or do things that you would typically be able to experience. So just from a personal standpoint, I'm curious what that has been like for you and what kind of challenges you have had to face and the difficulties you've experienced to try and maintain your focus on cricket when you're not able to do a lot of the day-to-day family things that you would want to be able to do. I mean, like, you know, I was telling someone actually going to play cricket and going to practice and just being on the field is actually my getaway from just, you know, just being inside of the hotel and being inside of my room. Yeah, it's it's really tough. I don't think there's any, I don't know, but being in a bubble is, is just so hard because uh, you're not able to go out, you're not able to separate yourself from everything around you usually in um you know in normal times let's say you have a rest day you can go and go exploring or you can you know go have dinner at a restaurant but it's now it's just like you're eating out of you know food boxes all the time and yeah it's yeah i i wouldn't i wouldn't call it life at all for sure you know i really wish that we could find a solution and yeah well um i could i all i know it's it's really tough on me mentally like it's it's a 24 7 thing there's no like get away from okay well i can't go in i can't go into the supermarket and pick up a few things i have to get someone to get it for me the thing is is just no getting away from it and that is just the hardest part so me playing cricket and me, you know, going to practice and all that stuff, I'm actually, you know, happy with playing cricket because it just helps me to get away from, um, you know, bubble life. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on my, on my worst enemy. One of the things that I found quite astonishing was the reaction that the Sri Lankan board had on the players who went out one night for a cigarette break, I guess it was in England, and they were sent home from the tour, and there was a huge drama around that, and they wound up being suspended for more than a year is the end result. And I think there's a false perception of players need to be quarantined or players need to be in a bio bubble because, well, they're superstar athletes, and after a a day or a practice or a night of of a game or whatever, after a game ends, well, there's this idea that, oh, they're going to go partying or they're going to go to a nightclub or they're going to go out on the town and, and go wild and go crazy and it's not about that it's literally fundamental day-to-day life being denied yeah. in terms of just like you said going out for a walk going out to get food just going out and decompressing having yeah. something to do to just get your mind off of the task at hand and instead you're staring at four walls for the entire time that you're not on a cricket field if you had a recommendation for cricket officials as to why bio bubbles should cease going forward. What would be your number one reason that you would offer to any cricket administration official internationally as to why bio bubbles are unsustainable, regardless of the state of the COVID pandemic wherever a tour is being hosted? I think I think it it would definitely be mental health if someone if one is not very strong mentally things could go you know we've seen players in the IPL say well you know I can't really handle this I'm going home 
and it's, it's, it's literally just that your mental health is just like so downgraded when you're in a bubble that I think that's the reason like even like I don't think bubbles are getting easier either I was telling my friend like from the first day for this bubble I just from being out to being in I'm already just not on this the level anymore um, because you just feel so confined and you just feel so helpless at times you know good thing this is not such a tight bubble but you, you just feel as though you, you're not free it just plays with your mental health and you really have to be mentally strong to be able to cope with that on a day-to-day basis so what do you do to cope with it on a day-to-day basis to make it manageable at the start of the bubble like i remember i used to work out a little bit i started painting when you uh, say work out a little bit i mean is that literally in your room you're just doing push-ups and sit-ups and trying to be creative with what you've got in your hotel yeah. room yeah for sure doing those exit like push-ups sit-ups squats all of that stuff i have i walk around with bands so in case we get you know, lock, in the middle, we get locked down. Mm-hmm. You know, I can probably just do a little workout by myself. But I've found, like, those things are just starting to get monotonous, and I'm starting to <laughs> be like, all right, you know, I need to find something else. <laughs> but, you know, I haven't, I haven't had, like, a, a formula or anything that, you know, really keeps me in check. <laughs> There's you say, you say painting. I'm curious about that. I find that fascinating. And so, were you a painter <laughs> before all this started? No, or is it something that you picked up as a new hobby? I wasn't, I wasn't a painter before. And, but a friend of mine in, like introduced me to it. So, yeah, Not necessarily introduced, but I saw them do it. And I was like, oh, let me try doing that. And then I, you know, I got interested in it. And it became, it became fresh and new. But you know, now I'm... I walk around with the paint stuff, and I'm like, ah, no, nah, I don't want to paint. <laughs> but I was, I was never a painter. And I just kind of got into it, you know, seeing, seeing my friend do it, and I'm okay at it. I'm not like the best. <laughs> I, I paint what is on my mind or how I feel, or I would like go on Pinterest and try to re- recreate other people's paintings and that stuff in in my own head and, you know, in my own way. I don't think there's, like, anything that right now, like, right now, I've been trying to read a book, but <laughs> I really have. Like, I, I've gotten to opening the book. I've actually read, like, a paragraph, and then I'm like, all right. <laughs> It's boring. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 tough, but hopefully when the games start, you don't really have much time to think about, you know, just sitting in a room and you know, not doing anything. But once you're like in quarantine and not doing anything, that is when it gets real dull. Hearing you talk about this, I'm thinking to myself, the worst possible thing that could happen in a situation like this must have been all the rainouts in the Pakistan series because you're so looking forward to playing yeah, and so yeah. looking forward to getting out of your cell. <laughs> and then the match yeah. gets straight off and it's like, oh, geez, I got to go yeah. back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that period was okay because we were coming to as the end. But if it was like the middle, then I, I don't know how I, how, how I would have coped with it because I was looking forward to playing and it was a new team. And we, and we lost the first, well, we lost the first game, so we were looking forward to, you know, winning another game. But, you know, the rains came. And we, yeah, we're disappointed, but I'm I'm glad that it, it was at the end of the that period. So I was just looking forward to getting out of the bubble. 